Good morning, everyone. It is like six o'clock in the morning. I'm getting ready to head out to the airport. My Uber will be here in about 10 minutes. So I need to go quick. I'm getting ready to head off to New Orleans for Creators and Friends events. So I'm gonna take you along. Um, today is Monday, April 1st, and I come back to Vegas Friday, which I think is April 5th. So I am there for a week and I'm really excited. If you haven't heard me talk about Creators and Friends, um, I have I talked about it in a recent Get Ready With Me as well, but it is an event planning company that I started with my partner, Simbri. And basically we host retreats and parties for content creators. So we hosted our first event last year in Charleston. We hosted a holiday party in Las Vegas in December of last year. And we are on retreat number two, which is in New Orleans. And we are hosting 38 content creators. So I'm gonna take you down. I'm gonna show you the house where we're staying in, all the events and activations that we have going on. We have some brands that are working with us on this trip as well. So we have like some brand owners coming down for the trip. We have some fun activations to do with them. Um, and I'm just gonna take you along the whole time so you can see what um, a Creators and Friends event actually looks like. So I'm really looking forward to it, um, especially because I actually wasn't able to go to Charleston last year. Um, unfortunately, my, my dog was diagnosed with cancer um, that Friday and I was supposed to leave on Sunday. So I ended up not being able to go to Charleston. So I'm really excited to do this one for New Orleans and just like be able to experience it myself um, and just see everyone, meet some new faces, see some of my friends. And I'm just, I'm just gonna be so excited to actually like be there and be part of like setting everything up and just, I'm just excited. I'm just excited to go. So um, yeah, I just, my, my bag is packed. Um, I just have to finish packing my um, book bag. I'm actually really proud of myself because we do have a pretty big like goodie bag um, from some of the participating brands, um, like some of the gifting products that they're doing. So I thought I was gonna take my big suitcase and then like a smaller carry-on suitcase. But honestly, I had so much room in my suitcase. I just put like a duffel bag in there. I mean, it's a pretty big duffel bag that I have, but that way I can put the majority of like my clothes and things like that in that on my way home and then be able to pack my carry-on with some of the makeup that we are getting and skincare and all those products. So I was pretty impressed. I'm a light packer, okay? I'm a last minute packer, but I'm also a light packer. So I was pretty proud of myself. Um, I didn't even bring, I brought like two pairs of heels, two pairs of slides. I'm wearing my Converse to the airport. Like I'm a pretty chill packer. I also didn't bring a lot of makeup or skincare because we're gonna get a lot there. So yeah, didn't do a lot of those. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to check because I know sometimes when you schedule Ubers, they come a little bit early and I'm like, if they come early, I might as well you know, head out there. So I'm just gonna double check and see if they are even upcoming. She's on, oh, she's she's 11 minutes away. Okay, cool, you better get here in time, girl. Usually when you schedule, they're here like 10 minutes early. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna take you along for the week. I've never been to New Orleans. I don't know how much of the city I'm gonna be able to see because since this is my company, when we have downtime, I'll probably be like setting up for the next thing, taking down, like, you know, just different things like that, or like, I don't know, resting. <laughs> um, so I don't know how much of New Orleans, like I'll really be able to like see myself, but I mean, we still have like fun dinner reservations planned, things like that. So I'm still looking forward to it and I'll take you along. So let's go to New Orleans. Made it to New Orleans. Oh my goodness. Okay, welcome. We are in my room, which also, how cute is this? How fantastic is the shower? Are you joking me? My roommate for the week it is Makeup Molly, and I'm about to text her right now and be like, look how cute our room is. Don't mind my suitcase. I had to 
do a quick change so things are already everywhere but we've made it my flight was not bad it was only like two hours and 45 minutes i told my mom it was four hours <clears throat> I think I pro probably wasn't accounting for the time change since I go from PST to CST, but yeah, I slept the first part of it and then I did some video editing and then I've been watching the Formula One documentary. I'm not a Formula One girl, but it was in Vegas last year, so I was like, I don't, and it's you know supposed to be coming to, to Vegas every year, so I'm like, let me give it a try. I'm not going to lie to you, the first episode I was like, like waiting to see what was going to happen next. But we made it, Kelly and I, um, I met with Simbri, Kelly Gooch, and also, <laughs> and also Kiki, oh wait, I think Linda's coming, um, Kiki from Salt, New York. So I met them at the airport, we Ubered over to our Airbnb, and then um, Kelly and I walked and got some pizza. And now we are getting ready to head over to our shipping receiver where we had all the brands um, send all of their products. So we're about to go in like four different Ubers. We have Linda that came early, Glitter Fallout, and also Kelly that came early. Wait for it. She's gonna be so happy that I'm vlogging her the moment she gets off the airplane. Hi! Yes, queen! Yeah. Hi! I was like, she's gonna be so happy I'm vlogging her right off a plane. Did you do your TikTok? You did, you did it! So Good job, Linda! I'm proud of you! We're gonna take some different yeah, Ubers, we're gonna go pick up all of our packages, come start unboxing. Everyone gets here um, around 1 o'clock tomorrow, so we want the house to be ready. We have the balloon decorations are going up right now, we have like goodie bags to put together. You know, all the room assignments for everyone so they know where to go when they get here. We have a dinner tonight at 7.45, so we definitely have we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do, so I gotta stop talking. Let's go.
Good morning. Today is Tuesday, April 2nd. Wait, it's one of my friend's birthdays. Whose birthday is it? Somebody's birthday today. We'll figure it out later. Um, so, good morning. I am working on everybody's goodie bags for their bedroom. So, yesterday was fun. I vlogged... When did I vlog? When I first got here, I think. So, when we first got here, we worked with a um, shipping receiver. And we had all of the brands that are sending us products, um, any like makeup products. We have like snacks and drinks here as well. We had them send that to a shipping receiver. So we went to pick it up. It took us four trips, four Uber XLs, to be able to get everything over here. But we got everything, and then once we got in here, it was just all about opening the boxes and make sure I had it on the blog, how many boxes it was. It took us um, several hours just to open everything and like organize them. Then we went out to dinner, and we went to Merrill, and it was so good. We had a bunch of appetizers. I had the spicy rigatoni, which was super yummy. And then, I don't know, their thing at the end was like to come out with cotton candy with a sparkler. I, it kind of gave me Vegas vibes. I was like, okay. So, of course, we had ordered that. So, dinner was really good. Um, we had, I think there was nine of us there. Um, so, it was me and Simbri. It was Kelly and Linda. They came down early with us to help us set up, which has been... I, there's no way Simbri and I could have done this alone. Like, I literally keep thinking back to last year when Simbri had to do this without me. And I'm like... How did you do that? <laughs> like, how, how how did you make that happen? Um, and then also Lauren and her husband Sam came to dinner and then they came and helped us, which was super awesome of them. Um, and then we also did hire a photographer to be on the trip with us because we will be setting up the Creators and Friends events website. So we have a photographer here to do, you know, professional photos of all the different activations and, um, you know, just the house and all of those things. So she came out to dinner and then I don't remember if I said Stephanie Marie, she is a local New Orleans creator and someone that I've known and talked to for many years. So um, we all went out to dinner, which is super great. And then we got back here maybe around like 10 o'clock or so. And then it was just like a frenzy, um, you know, trying to prep like the goodie bags. And there's a lot of things that are like by sizes um, and then there's also products that are by complexion. So, you know, just doing all of that organizing um, and all of those things. And so I went to sleep around 2 a.m. So that first. And then my alarm went off at 6. And I was like, okay. Um, so there's that. But all good, all good. So yeah, so what I'm doing right now is just setting up the bag. Sigma is our main sponsor, which has me so excited because I want you guys to know they're just one of my favorite brands. So they're like our house sponsor. So they sent along some different bags and then we have um, our other brand sponsors that put like gifting products in here. So I'm just setting those up. But Sigma also sent along like pajamas, um, a sweatshirt, we also have their new brush collection. So everyone gets the new brushes early, which is so exciting. Um, we have City Beauty as our sponsor for our bathrooms. So some of the other girls are setting up the bathrooms right now. And look at these little, they got us these really nice skincare bags and they say our names on them. And they got product in there. So you send along these Super cute pajamas, a weighted eye mask from my kids. So super nice, a tote bag, a sweatshirt, a hat. Um, yeah, so that's just what I'm working on right now. It's getting this all set up. Um, it is, what time is it now? Oh, it's almost nine. And people are supposed to get here at one. Well, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs>
My name is Samantha Marsh. <laughs> Thank you everyone for coming. I'm one of the co-founders and creators of Fun. With my lovely partners and friends.
This is a behind the scenes being an event planner. And your friends won't leave you behind. Never. When the fridge, or the, I'm sorry, the freezer starts leaking and everyone goes off to have fun, but you're in charge of making sure the freezer works and then your friends won't leave you. And then they fixed it. This is my new friend, please meet her. This is fridges just for fun. <laughs> she is a fridge mechanic. Yeah, there's a friend partner. Sponsoring creators and friends. But we think that we fixed. Wait, I do see it leaking a little bit. It's, still, it's, it's just a tiny little bit okay. left. Okay. It should be good. Okay. It's almost nothing. See? Okay. Slay. Perfect. Woo. Guys. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting here eating cookies. Should we leave this here just for safe measure? Mm hmm. Yeah, let's do it. So cold in this house. I keep having to wear my sweater everywhere. And then I walk outside and I'm like, oh, heat. It's so hot. And then I come inside and I'm like, I'm freezing. No idea where I left off. But this morning, Simber and I went and got blowouts because we're doing some professional photos for our website. Um, and we hired a photographer for this event, which was so fun. We had our event with Surat, so we had a catered brunch here. The founder came, gave us all goodie bags. And now we're gonna go explore New Orleans with my fridge friends. Yes. <laughs> I love all four. Can I get all four? Oh my god! Oh, oh. It's Inception! Oh. <laughs> we are getting ready! <laughs> did, you, did you show Samantha that picture we took? Oh, so picture. I want to no, see I the picture. Oh. Oh. It's so good. We were inspired by you, Samantha. The Who's not inspired by me, honestly? You did the point five? First try, nailed it. Nailed it. You did the point five Nailed it. I'm so excited to see it. Oh my goodness, I keep turning to the side. <laughs> This entire community evolved. This all evolved as a business. I guess everything is through authenticity. Everything's good. That's how I run Sigma. That's how I personally. I don't want to say I choose influencers to work with us on those lines, but I do. I kind of. <laughs> I want people that are authentic. You know, I want people that resonate with our values, and uh, I value a lot uh, your values too. I see other companies that come and go and explore, and Sigma is always there, you know, <laughs> yeah. like 15 years in the making. Yeah. But we're there doing what we like to do, you know, staying within our professional standards and values and working with people that value what we value, and, and we want to continue to do that. Command Samantha and Simbi to initiating such an initiative that I think is going to explode. I think it's the future, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys have all the power, you know that. 
So thank you. Lastly, from Sigma, the only plastics yeah, I keep. Same. I throw away from every yeah. brand, but Sigma. Yeah, yeah. because They're everything so to me is art. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. this is art. You know, I, so I want when you open the palette, that is a little piece of art yeah. too. I try to stay as cool tone as I could, so I could stay on theme. <laughs> I developed this entire palette like that. You know, there are seven little duels. You know, like. Um, I always have a oh. shimmer that goes with a mat. Mm -hmm. So if you're in a hurry, Samantha's thriving. <laughs> <laughs> so the process behind the color selection, the story behind the inspiration for this palette, you know, it's like really, really deep into <laughs>
having a great time in NOLA? Yeah. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, we are the co-founders of Queen Anna Cosmetics. I'm Lee. And I'm Maggie. And we're sisters. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we started Cleona back in 2016. Um, we had both graduated school at the same time in different programs and we're like, what are we going to do? We started as a hobby, you know, we both had intended to pursue other careers, go back to school. August of this year, it'll be our eight year anniversary. We <laughs> create every single day. And what we're doing here with you guys all today is doing a nail polish making workshop. So, they put this here for me. What? Hey, 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 hey. I like those are my favorite colors. I feel like you guys have a great spot with like where the sun is, like hitting. Hi, girl. Oh, look at your pretty shades. Saying hydrated. I feel like water is the hottest commodity. I woke up, all I could think about was water. I was like, I need to order water. Oh, those are beautiful. While I'm printing one, yes, I have. What's up? That looks so good. Thanks. Yes, yes. I'm shocked. I'm so shocked. Shook it to the core, but I'm... I did make it beige. Wow. You okay? I'll use, I'll use Angie's head as a backdrop. Yes. Thank you. Wait, we have Packers wow. colors? Love. Conversations that I've overheard. Of course, we've talked a little bit about content and filming, but you guys are talking about real life, mm -hmm. and that's what we see from creators and friends. We are creators, but we are also friends with each other, and I just see that so much this trip. I didn't get to go to Charleston. Oh, <laughs> you missed you. Yeah. Oh, so I wasn't able to see that last year. So it's really special to see it this year. And we thank you for coming because obviously we couldn't do this without you guys. And when Super and I started, we were like, we don't know if anyone's going to actually want to come. So, <laughs> thank you for coming. Thank you for taking a chance. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And can we please cheers to Samantha and Simbri for putting this on? Very 
as I was starting to edit it, I was like, oh, okay, probably should have some sort of ending. Um, especially because I think there was a certain point where I was like, I just, not that I give up editing, but like I give up like trying to talk, trying to, trying to any of those. I, I truly don't even know the last time that I like did like a check-in part of the vlog. I just kept trying to remember to grab my camera at, at many moments that I could to show what was happening. Um, so I wanted to give this vlog a send off. I'm going to be doing a chatty get ready with me just kind of talking about the whole trip and all those things. But because um, I feel like this vlog might be kind of long. I'm not sure. I mean, I was there Monday to Friday. But again, there was a certain point where I was just the level of exhaustion really kicked in. And I could only like try to focus on like what what was actually happening on the trip. But I hope that you enjoyed seeing our time in New Orleans. Um, I, I had so much fun. It was definitely, you know, for me, it was definitely work. You know, I was talking to Angie today and she was like, back to filming. And I was like, I'm still laying in bed. And she was like, yes, but you worked the whole time. And I was like on vacation and I was like, okay, that's true. Um, so it was definitely a ton of work, but it was so nice being able to be there since I wasn't able to be at Charleston last year. It was just nice to feel um, that I could actually see the event to completion. That's kind of what was missing for me for Charleston. Like I did all this work, all this prep, all this planning, and then like couldn't see it actually happen. Like, of course I saw the vlogs and the videos and you know, all those things, but obviously it was missing that I wasn't able to like actually see it. So to see it all come together and to see that side of the event planning was really so fun for me. I was trying to make sure to pick up my camera during the times where we were also like prepping for the next, you know, events that were happening and things like that. So you could see kind of a behind the scenes of like what goes into the party planning aspect because it was really interesting to me to talk to so many people and have them say things like everything ran so smoothly and we know that that doesn't just happen. You know, that's what so many of the girls said to me like it's not a coincidence that things are just 
flowing so well and happening so well like it's because of what you guys are doing and what we don't see that made me feel really good that everyone had such a, a good time you know everyone that i was able to talk to just kept expressing of how much fun that they had how much community that they felt um and again just how wonderful everyone on the trip was and how fun the trip was and that really meant a lot to me because Simbri and I definitely put a lot into this. This is a new business that we started. Like we're not getting paid to do this yet. Of course the goal with any business is obviously to make money so you can keep doing it. And I know we would both love to do something like this on a more full-time basis. Um, so which is something that we you know, hope to be able to keep doing of course. So it's just really nice to hear that all of the time that we put into this in between our other careers um, that people found it to be successful and you know, worth their time to be able to come down. Um, I wanted to say in this vlog, if you have any questions on uh, creators and friends, um, you know, feel free to drop them in the comments here and I'll look over them before I film my get ready with me. And uh, um, I can hopefully answer some um, in that video. And then I also do a Q and A like every two weeks or so on my Instagram and my stories. And I usually, I like to do them after I do some traveling. So usually, the questions are kind of based around like whatever travels so i'm assuming i'll have a lot of questions on creators and friends when i do my next q a on instagram and that is march beauty word but i really had such a great time um i'm super exhausted i actually laid in bed until 1 30 today which is not anything like me i mean there was times that i got up i had my laptop in bed for a little bit i was working on my phone for a little bit but I was like physically, like my body is so sore. Um, you know, Simbri and I like set everything up ourselves that you saw in the house when we got there the first day. So we got there on Monday. I mean, you would have seen like all of the boxes that were there. And I'm super grateful to Linda or Glitter Fallout, Kelly Gooch, Lauren My Beauty, her husband Sam. They helped us so much that first night, opening all the boxes, unpacking everything, putting things in bathrooms, like getting everything set up. I don't know how Simbri and I would have been able to do that ourselves because we had so much going on. Um, Cleona Cosmetics hosted a nail polish making class, which meant we had like 20 boxes just from Cleona themselves. And then we had other brands we shipped. Um, we had like food and drinks that were shipped to us as well. So we had a ton of boxes um, that were there that we had to get through. So super, super grateful for them for helping us out. Um, obviously I've been talking a lot all week, all the things like my voice is very sore and just exhausted. Um, I think I stayed up until 3 a.m. every single night in the house. I didn't even go out. People went out the, what, the first night that everyone was there, Tuesday night. Everyone went out and I was like, I physically could not. And, um, but I stayed up at the house just like talking to everybody. And it was one of those things where we don't get to be together all that often. And so when we do, you could tell that people were like so tired. And I remember that last night, like our voices were all giving out, but we were like, no, we are staying up. We're talking with each other. We're having so much fun. We're laughing. We're like, just, it, it just, you could see that people didn't want it to end. Like whether it be the night, whether it be the trip, like people just didn't want it to end. And I was one of them. So. Um, I think I was averaging like three to four hours of sleep every single night because then I was up early the next day trying to get things ready. But I feel, for me, I feel like after the trip, I feel really confident in what Simbri and I are doing. Actually, we're just trying to do a different spin on something like brand trips where a brand trip is focused solely on that brand and solely on whatever release that they're launching. Ours is more focused on the creators, the community, the connection. And we do work with brands and we have partners and sponsors that help us be able to put this on. Creators do pay for a spot in their house as well. So no one's like paid to be there um, or anything along those lines. They do pay to be able to hold their spot in the house. That's what allows us to be able to put everything together and to be able to get the house and get the space and um, be able to have like the dinners and everything that we get to do. So um, for us, it's really important that these remain focused on the creators and the friendships amongst our community um, and then also have our, our partners that want to work with us to help us make a really memorable experience for everybody but it makes me feel really confident now that we've done two trips and one you know single day event and the feedback has just been so overwhelmingly positive from everybody so it makes me feel like we can really do this um, you know it's an idea that two friends had was like well we both are interested in event planning 
like we both have different like kind of sets of strengths and weaknesses and maybe they'll work well together and i think that we're really doing it so i'm excited to do more we have another trip coming up in september we have another holiday party coming up this year as well we have two trips on the calendar for 2025 and it's just something that has me so excited to keep trying to bring a community connection to a community that I love so much and that I have been a part of for such a long time. I know we would also love to start doing things outside of just the, the beauty community as well, but that's where both of us work. So it's just as we kind of get our feet under us and keep going as keep growing as a business and all of those things um, is kind of where our focus is right now. But we have a lot in mind. We have a lot in store for us. We have a lot of future plans that we're working on and it has me really excited. But um, again, I know this is probably going to be a longer vlog, so I'm going to do a get ready with me. If you have any questions on the trip, please do let me know and I'll kind of give some more thoughts and feelings in there. But this was a very cool week. It was a lot of work. Um, again, like I'm, I'm exhausted. I said that I would, I said I would go to an event in Las Vegas tonight and I'm just like, why did I say that I would do that? That was so dumb. <laughs> um, but I'm going to try to make it because I, I hate backing out on plans. Um, and if I say I'm going to go somewhere, especially for a professional reason, I really hate to back out on that. But uh, I'm I'm exhausted. It was a lot of work. My body is very sore. My voice is sore. But I also came away from that feeling so inspired and motivated and also just feeling so much love from everybody. The kindness in this community to me is just unlimited and i think doing these trips has been so interesting because a lot of times you hear things about like creators being catty and in competition with one another and not nice to one another and you know of course there's going to be people like that there's people like that in every single circle and all the things but that's just something that i haven't seen a lot of in this community myself and when i have done these these trips now that's not what other people are seeing either that's not their experiences either um, people really do love one another. They really want to support one another. The advice, not only professionally and personally that people were giving out, the support, um, the motivation, the, um, I don't know what word I'm trying to use here, but the, the accolades that people were, were giving to one another. Of, I love when you do this and you did this and it's done so well and you inspire me to do this. Those are the kind of conversations that I was hearing so much of and um, I just felt like this trip was really so, so special and I'm so happy that I could do it. So stay tuned. I'll probably be posting quite a bit more from Creators and Friends. You know, of course I have a lot on Instagram and also the Creators and Friends Instagram as well, which is Creators Friends Events. We're super grateful to all the creators that do want to share about the trip. There are no posting requirements. Again, like we said, you don't, you, I mean, you could come and do the whole trip and not post a single freaking thing. Like, and that's, that, that is what it is. That's the point of it is not to try to force anything, to not try to force a, a connection to not try to force a post to not try to force talking about a, a brand that partnered with us and all of the brands are very well aware that we have no posting requirements as well and we're not going to ask be asking the creators to do anything that they don't want to do and that they don't feel as authentic to them to post because that's the whole point behind the trips that we do is to bring that authenticity back um to this community for a small business um and a brand that is just starting out it really means a lot to us when people do want to share and share a name and, and share the experiences that they have so hopefully you'll be seeing um some vlogs i'll be trying to share as much as i can um and thank you to everyone who tuned into the trip and for your support and for loving some of your favorite content creators um, I've said this in, in my videos where I talk about it, but if you're a content creator and want to get in our database, please let us know. You can email us, you can DM us, you can let me know here, or if you're a brand that wants to get involved as a brand sponsor, again, email, DM, let me know, um, and we have a lot of future events planned. So I'm going to finish watching some March Madness games. I mean, I figured Purdue would win, but I kind of wanted it to be a closer game, but we'll see. We got Alabama and UConn now. I think it's probably going to be UConn, but... I'm finished watching these games. I have an event tonight and then uh, just get back to real life. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. <laughs>